A lot of frustrated new grads and parents over how commencement went over the weekend. That's right. They're already disappointed they couldn't do it in person. But then they said the virtual graduation at Hampton University was riddled with errors. So what went wrong and who's responsible? Many of your side's Gina Revelo is looking into that tonight. Tom and Anita, in a statement, the school acknowledged the errors and says that there were several factors contributing to them, starting with the external contractor they hired to produce the ceremonies. The school says that contractor failed them. It just seemed like it was very, very poorly executed. That's the feeling shared by recent Hampton University graduates and parents who spoke to Tin On Your Side. The university's virtual commencement for class of 2020 and 2021 graduates debuted online Sunday. Families say the first issue was getting the link to play. We're all dressed up, the house is decorated, um, the kids are ready to be celebrated, and nothing. They say they eventually found the ceremonies on the school's YouTube channel. However, their frustrations only got worse. Graduate Jahi Cooper says his name wasn't included. He later learned it was in the wrong ceremony. I was like, wow, did they just forget my name? Like, it was kind of heartbreaking. We were there prepared to celebrate that moment with him, with him, and that was stripped away. Another parent says her twins also affected. My son was entirely omitted, no picture, no mention. My daughter was in the wrong school. We had to search for her. Others tell us wrong pictures were shown or no picture used at all. We contacted the university, which says several factors led to the mishap. In an official statement, we're told much of the data that was presented was not reflected in the final product received. The school also says the virtual format didn't allow them to conduct verifications and clearances as they would have normally been able to do in the past. Graduates tell us the ceremony was a disappointment. I feel like it was a big slap in the face. And it just, it just didn't seem like they didn't really care about the students. Sources close to the university say they are working day and night to re-embrace the graduating class of 2020 and 2021. You can read the school's full statement online at wavy.com. Gina Arevalo, 10 on your side.